SAC is short for the Sewer Availability Charge. It's a one-time connection fee for the expanded use of capacity on the system. What it means for businesses and local governments is it is a one-time fee uh, charged at the time a business either opens or if it expands or remodels and demands additional capacity. The bill technically goes to the government, the local government, uh, but then the local government passes that along to the end user. And SAC is a way that we can build and rehabilitate capacity that we need in the future without making the current users pay for it. We kind of see it as a generational equity issue. The other thing that this allows us then is to look out into the future and make sure that as growth happens, we have the capacity to support that growth without digging up streets to put down new, bigger pipes. The task force was needed because of a restaurant seating issue, outdoor seating in particular, that a lot of people thought was unfair. Uh, city officials and restaurant owners, and they didn't like the way that they were being charged for that. that. Being a government employee for some time now, I understand how difficult uh, it can be to deal with people, especially when you deal with something where it always costs money. And uh, the Met Council does not have an easy job to do when it comes to SAC. The SAC manual, this is how the Met Council determines what will be charged on a SAC letter. It can be very confusing. There's a lot of nuances to it that people don't understand. So SAC is, is often most troublesome for small businesses, mom and pops that are just trying to open a little shop uh, with you know five or ten uh, seats, uh, particularly if they want to put some outdoor seating. Uh, a lot of people ask a lot of hard questions. The Met Council was very open to constructive criticism and I think that is one of the reasons we got so much done and were able to make so much change. I personally had a lot of questions that I, I didn't feel confident going into it that I was going to get a good answer to, and and I did. I'm very hopeful that uh, when we come out with the new manual, hopefully in July, that it will be much easier for people to understand, business owners, contractors and such, um, how they come up with the number they do and where the money goes and what it's for. We presented to over 150 people as well as the Senate uh, Committee on Local Governance and all of them are very excited to see these changes. Many were surprised at how significant these changes were and how much these are gonna help small businesses, particularly those that are looking to remodel or add outdoor seating.